Welcome back to my Colorado mountain garden. And today I am moving many of my tomato plants that I germinated the seeds in paper towel into the soil. And so this side over here, I've already done everything, but I just wanted to show you, you can see the little tails on them. And I don't let them germinate much more than that. And the reason for that is because they'll start growing into the paper towels. If they do that, don't rip the roots out. And that's why I say make sure you space your seeds. Cut around um, with a pair of scissors and go ahead and, and put the seed and the paper towel all in to your pod. That paper towel will decay away. Uh, the, I use tweezers to pull them off the paper towels. And everything has been sanitized. The soil, my container, um, my hands. So now all I'll do, and what I first do is I pack those down. I leave about a quarter of an inch and then I'll come back and fill with the soil here. So we'll just go ahead and get most of it on and then you'll see me tamp down the dirt. I'll try and do this one from the back so you can see a little bit better. And then in about, oh, I would say anywhere from a day to three days, these should start sprouting through the soil. And even though they did germinate in the paper towel, they can still die it doesn't happen that often, but just so you know, um, if some of them don't end up coming up, it could be because your soil was too dry or too wet for them to, to finish doing what they need to um, to pop through the soil. And again, I just lightly tamp down, and now I'm going to fill, because these are the cherry tomatoes, I'm going to fill the tray up about halfway, let them sit and soak. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to spray, well, I can do that right now. I'm going to spray lightly with my little spray bottle just to hold that soil in place so I know that my my seedling isn't bouncing around. Now you can always plant two seeds and again I if I planted seeds you know and they can be germinated in paper towel but if you don't want to germinate in paper towel you plant them crisscross here so that if you aren't the type of person who just trims off the bad one or the weaker one, you can eventually break these apart. Uh, tomatoes are pretty forgiving, even if you break their roots up, unlike the peppers. But that's basically, after I soak it, what it's going to look like. The dome will be on. My dome is closed. And this is going to go on the heat mat. Now, once these germinate the all the way through, so they've popped all the way through, I'm going to take the dome off. And I typically leave them on the heat mat for another day, maybe two, depending on how small they are. And if all of them haven't popped through, then I definitely leave, go ahead and leave the tray on. After that, I take them off the heat mat. They don't need it. Uh, my lights, it's not like grow lights get hot, but it keeps my room pretty warm. And once the seeds are germinated, that's the big thing where they really need to have an even temperature is to get them germinated and um, get them popped up through the soil. And then once they get big enough, if they don't get leggy, I will leave them in here as long as I think I can. But the next step after this, it will be me up potting it into a solo cup and I don't put it all the way in the solo cup. So I don't fill the solo cup all the way up. And I'll show you that when that time comes so you can see how I do it and how I build my stem to be very strong. Hope you're having a good day and happy gardening.